Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we've got a milk jug showdown. So people are always asking me uh, which milk jug do I like the best or which milk jug am I using in a particular video and so I thought what I'd do is uh, take a few of my favourite milk jugs, uh, pour a couple of patterns with each and then we'll have a bit of a look and uh, see which one comes out on top. So I've got four milk jugs here and they're all varying slightly in their spout so let's have a look at them one at a time. The first milk jug I'm going to pour some patterns with is the uh, Old Faithful Trenton. Um, now, with this milk jug, this is the jug that I use all the time, so probably my patterns are going to be a little bit better with it. This jug has a nice rounded spout at the end, which makes it easier for pouring tulips. Next up I've got this black uh, teflon coated jug, I believe it's actually a rattleware. Um, the spout is a bit more rounded than the Trenton jug and it's a little bit fatter um, and, and shorter in size, which I guess makes it a little bit different when you're texturing your milk. Um, let's check out the pores for this one. Um, again, I think I'm very good for tulips. Um, basically what I think, the sharper kind of your spout, the easier it is for those uh, Rosetta style patterns. Um, and then the, the more rounded ones, easier it will be to pour those bulbs. We've got another bit of bling here. Uh, this is the white uh, Joe Frex uh, milk pitcher. Um, this one's got a really nice spout I really like the spout on this one. It's got a little bit of a curve on the end, uh, but it's quite straight. Um, so it makes it easier, I think, for pouring those Rosetta style patterns. Uh, take a look at the pores. Now last up we've got something a little bit different guys, this is a Rhino Wears jug. Um, I've only had this jug for literally about four or five pours and it's like gun barrel straight, there's no real lip on it at all. Um, check out the pours and just bear in mind that I have only poured with this a couple of times. Now with the other videos, I did literally just pour one rosetta and one tulip. Um, with this guy, I did give myself a couple of extra shots um, just because it was the first time I'd ever used it. Um, I'm actually gonna do a latte out compilation next week using only this jug, so I get a good feel for how it works and uh, how good it is for latte art. And if you've been following my Instagram at The Coffee Fusion, uh, you would have seen that I'm gonna trial this guy out. And uh, if he passes the test, he's gonna be on my uh, website. Uh, coffeefusion.com.au uh, probably from early next year. So that's a milk jug showdown for you guys. Um, a couple of different styles of spout there. Um, look, the way I would really see it, I think what happens uh, when you're in the cafe, you find a particular jug that you really like and then you get really good at pouring your latte out with that jug. And then I think you'll have a bit of a bias towards that style tip. As you can see from the video, you can certainly pour good latte art uh, with any style tip, um, but I think you're gonna get a preference. For me, it's that uh, Trenton style, slightly curved tip, um, but I pour a lot of tulips. Um, so that's why I've been uh, playing around with those straighter style tips as well, to see if I can't get my Rosetta game a little bit stronger. Now, as you can see, it's Christmas time. Um, so if you're looking for something coffee related to uh, give to a friend or a coffee lover, uh, I do have a couple of things on the website. Um, check out this book, uh, 33 Cups of Coffee. It's a really handy little cupping journal um, for you to take with you when you go to the cafe. 
Uh, look, it's gonna be 10 bucks uh, available in Australia and $3 shipping. Um, so pretty cheap present. You can chuck in the uh, stocking filler. Um, uh, yeah, worth having. And now there are a few Coffee Fusion t-shirts left on the website. Uh, coffeefusion.com.au is where you can get that or 33 cups of coffee. Um, and then from next year, there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff coming onto that website. Um, so all I ask is if you enjoy the videos and you wanna support Coffee Fusion, um, grab something from the website. If you need new gear um, from the end of January, probably February, there'll be lots on there. Thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. I hope you learned something and I'll see you next week. <laughs> hey guys, just a friendly reminder, uh, if you enjoyed the video, just give it a like, that really helps me. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe because as you know, there's new videos coming every Wednesday, uh, lots of different coffee content for you. Have a good one.